What up, what up, everybody? We got some more Final Fantasy XIV storyline to go through. We got Alice giving us the quest Soul Searching. We are in the Rising Stones still for now. And let's see what it's, what was going on here. Cutscene. <gasps> Please talk, so I don't have to love that. I'm glad you've come, though I'm afraid there's little in the way of good news. Take off my headshot here, and let's go. After you left, we reached out to both the Alchemist's Guild and Stillglade Fane and attempted all manner of treatments. But the results were always the same. Whatever the answer is, it's not alchemy or conjury. Why did it have to be Yishtola and Uriange and not me? Out of all of us, they are the ones who could feasibly have solved this puzzle. And Elfano's still missing. God, it's all going wrong. Where do we even start? A grave situation indeed. Might I be of some assistance? Cryo, maybe? Hey, there we go. Love Cryo, she's awesome. Cryo? I did not think you well enough to travel. When word reached me of the plight of our friends, I could not well stay away. As a fellow scion, not to mention your erstwhile mentor, this is one of those times you should feel free to call on me, regardless of my personal circumstances. I... yes, I should have thought of that. Thank you for coming, Kryl. We would welcome your insight. And Kryl falls down with... no, she's fine for now. And I should be happy to provide it. Now, what's this I hear about Alphano heading into Imperial territory? That boy always did have some funny ideas. Do you remember the speech he gave when he was accepted to the studium? This makes Alice a smile. My life's goal is not less than the salvation of this star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that particular grand pronouncement has been a source of great embarrassment to him, as you know. But the fact of the matter is, he meant every word and has lived his life accordingly. Yes, he remains altruistic to a fault, but I'm worried he was too fixated on his goals to see the dangers, as has happened before. You needn't be so concerned. Though his values remain the same, Alphano is not the blinkered boy he once was. Slowly but surely, his eyes have been opened, thanks to a certain someone. How is it me? What have I done? A certain someone whom he'd be mortified to learn had heard about his little speech. <laughs> Yeah. Mum's the word, eh? Indeed. Maybe. You nod and smile. Right, I'd better have a look at our patients. They're in the infirmary, I assume. I'll need absolute quiet, so it would be best if I did this alone. If you'll excuse me. Get at it, Kral. Get cracking. Oh, man. Uh, Cutscene goes to black. We're sitting at a table. Just Alice and myself for now. There's a there's a bartender. Checking supplies. There's that blue robed Elizen gal who whose name I already forgot because it was it was yesterday, but Yeah. All three are in fine physical health. At a glance, I would say they were merely sound asleep. Except for the fact that I couldn't sense the slightest trace of them in their bodies. It's as if their souls have taken leave of their physical forms. Ah, yes. The Elder Seed Seer made a similar observation. I've read the report. When you heard this mysterious voice, you described feeling as if you were somewhere else, yes? Yes, ma'am. If we assume the ether which comprises your essence is being drawn to some other place, then it may be possible to follow the trail it leaves behind, just as we did in our search for Thancred. I am cold in this frickin' room for like the first time I can really remember. Aside from sleeping. I wasn't around for that, but I can't imagine it was easy. 
Sometimes, yeah. Oh, it wasn't. But that's no reason not to try. I will have need of Master Matoya's crystal eye if I'm even to make the attempt. So I suggest we pay her a visit. It's cold at night. That shouldn't be surprising. Bop, 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 bop. Pretty much everywhere. Even in California, like night times could get pretty cold. I have not experienced the level of coldness in like more desert areas. I would imagine it gets cold. All right, uh, we need to go. Okay, Matoya was the the lady who had like the the frogs. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Five, it's only 560 to teleport to Idleshire, and I can't think of a cheaper or, and or a cheaper route that would also be like maybe an airship ride away and not like a whole lot more. So it's fine. I can't I can't fly in Idleshire, but I'm pretty damn sure I can fly outside of it. So at least in this zone that we need to go to, huh? My apologies for the the yawning. Yes. And they say that a hero can fly on their black choke bow through the sky. By the way, quick warning. Um not probably a thing that needs to be warned about, but I'm gonna attempt to make a little bit of money from this channel. Um, it's gonna be at the end of each video, as long as I remember to do so before I actually end the recording. But I'm, I'm, I just, I became an Amazon affiliate, so I can share links that if you purchase the things that I, these are things that I literally use a lot or have used a lot and and in or in general just purchased and enjoyed um yeah but anyway we'll see it might be nothing it might be something who knows i'd heard master matoya was something of a recluse but this seems extreme so still i'd be happy i'd, I'd i'll happily overlook her eccentricities eccentricities yeah, eccentricities. If she agrees to help us. That was Alice say. Cryo sends something like this, I think, as what I'm going to do for her. We get a cutscene walking into the... With the witch. She's dressed as a witch. Old, white-haired, old, white, long-haired witch. Long, white-haired. Come to disturb my peace again, have you? I hide myself away in a cave. And still you people insist on pestering me with your problems. Love you too. Oh, I mistook you for young what's-his-name, but I see now you're the sister. Weren't you supposed to be the lively one? I've seen happier faces at a rain-sodden burial. Well, I'm sorry to dash your expectations, but the situation isn't exactly conducive to gaiety. Yeah. <laughs> the old That's smiles. more like it. Stoller used to spit and hiss like a wildcat, too. Better for a young thing like you to be filled with fire and leave the doom and gloom to your elders. She's looking at that creepy wooden staff where the head of the staff is uh, like an upturned palm. And the fingers are all like curling upwards as well. So as if it was like a come hither motion with all fingers or like it would be holding a, a ball. <laughs> Sorry. Now, what exactly does this tragic situation of yours have to do with me? She's got brooms in the background which are animated and doing their own thing. There are frogs around, like pierogros. If I may, Pro Master Matoya, Pierogos. we have need of your crystal eye once more. She goes on to explain, the camera pans off up and to the left. And black, and now we're back. And 
Stola is one of the afflicted, is she? Very well. She may be an ungrateful stray, but she's my ungrateful stray, and I'll not see her buried before I am. She might be a stray, but I would never have called her ungrateful. What'd you expect? You wanted her to live with you forever and ever? Like, you seem to like your peace and quiet and solitude. She slowly patters over to a, a stack of books on a desk and then slowly patters back to us. Old lady shuffling steps and we have the blue orb. Right. Let us see what we can see. Crowl steps up to it. I'll begin from where our friends first fell, and cast my senses out from there. There's just too much. She holds out a hand, a white light emits from it, and like, these little like wavy, kind of rainbowish lines, uh, but mostly white light, emanate toward the blue crystal. Myself, um, Matoya, and Alice watch on. Kral's eyes are shut, but you can see like movements of her eyelids and Maybe the eyeballs under, and then she stops. What is it? She looks Did you worried. find them? Wait, wait, this, this, this doesn't make sense. How is it even possible? Her eyes are very large at this point. How is what possible? Cryl, what did you see? The, th the threads, they just... They just ended. And, and no, I didn't lose track of them. I followed them as far as they went. It's as if... It's as if they were cut off. Could the ether have dissipated if it had? Oh, oh God! Their bodies are just husks. It's like the brood mother's daughter all over again. But they're healthy husks, if that matters. For now. No, no, th this is different. The Kalyana girl was already dead, body and soul, when Lakshmi affected her resurrection. Aye, let's not jump to conclusions. If their physical forms yet breathe and show no signs of wasting, then it follows that their souls must still be intact somewhere. Yeah, I guess that's got some logic to it. But where? That's the question, isn't it, girl? Death has not taken them to the ethereal sea, Yet there are no tracks left for us to follow. I might put on my sweatpants. My b upper body I can kind of handle. My legs are kind of bothering me. We're no closer to an answer than when we started. But knowing their souls are still out there is progress of a sort. We just have to keep looking. Pray, excuse me a moment. Yes? I remember, but... What, to Alamigo? We're on our way. We're on our way. That was Lise. Apparently, a group of Popularis have defected to Alamigo, and Maxima, the envoy Alphano left with, is one of them. We do know where we're going. I'm sorry. I realize we've barely begun here, but... Go, child, go! You've made up your mind, and life's too short for dithering. Kryle and Matoya both nodded, if that matters. We'll see if Kryle stays. I'll do some digging in the meantime, and yeah. see if there isn't some other method we could use to continue the search. Kryle, you're so awesome. I like you. You're awesome. Let's be off, then. Can you be my mentor? Oh, what was that? <gasps> One of the brooms fell. Oh, not again. The enchantment barely seems to take these days. I'd chalk it up to old age, but I rather doubt it's that simple. Ooh, are they turning off, or is the like, ether being turned off in other areas? She does a staff movement, a little hand movement, some, some sparklies come from the broom, and then it's up and at it again. Before they took ill, Yishtola and Urianger were sharing notes on a thinning of the ether. It seems to be happening all over. I may be right. Does it now? 
And here I was, all set to blame my woes on that creaking mountain of refuse clogging up the Thaliac. There's a tr there's a I fear something has gone awry. There's a mountain of trash clogging up a river? Still, there's naught to be gained from starting in shadows. You can only do what can be done, and that but one thing at a time. Says you, I can do like a billion things at a time. Not really. But somebody might? I don't know. Alright, speak with Alice right outside the cave. So that was the woman who tamed the Ishtola. I had the distinct feeling of being grabbed by the scruff of the, of the neck and having the nonsense shaken out of me. When Alfin was back, I'd like to visit again and ask her what, she, what tales she has of Grandfather. Soul searching is complete. Alright, here we go. Here's my attempt. Um, Alright, super quick. So the first one um, is going to be Slim Fast High Protein Chocolate Shake Mix. It's a powder. You put a scoop in, and the scoop comes with a thing. You put a scoop in 8 ounces of water. I use it after my morning workout sometimes when I would like to gain a little bit of muscle rather than just using the workout to like burn fat. Um, it's very tasty. I love it. Um, you, get, you got other flavors too like strawberry, peanut butter, etc. But I like the chocolate. It also goes very well with uh, with chai, um, which I know is the, I think, Indian word for tea. So I, I do, did not want to say chai tea, but it is... Chai spice, I guess, tea? Ah, oh, fuck, whatever. But anyway, it goes, it, like a little dash of it goes pretty well in the chai tea also. Or chai, whatever. Um, but yeah, great protein. Um, pretty keto, or keto enough for me at least. Um, and that's it. I will, I will put a link in the description of this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.